Water is one of the most powerful medicines in the world. And if it's uh, hot spring water with minerals, and that, it, it creates a sense, a comedy. You feel relaxed. You have a tendency to be more at ease with yourself. It's a time of reflection. Sometimes you realize that um, it's just a part of it. The big picture. You know, it's an element that we use water. But this water here is, is heated by Mother Earth. But if you go into depth of that, you can see the powers of this beautiful place. Finding these things and hunting them down. It's a little bit like a treasure hunt, yeah. Uh, you need three things to make a hot spring. You need a source of heat, you need water, and you need some sort of plumbing system to get it from, from inside the earth up to the surface. The First Nations have been using the hot springs as long as there's been life on earth. We're not the only ones that use it. The four leggets go there. You can see the tracks. There are stories of them floating around in there. You know, it's it's been there for a long time, and we've we've taken our turns at it. So you know, we don't use time like a linear time. We don't use that straight line. It's a circle time. This process can take anywhere from tens of years to perhaps thousands of years. Rainwater seeps into cracks and percolates down through these things comes back up usually through the different crack systems and shows up as a hot spring. Just gotta get enough heat to hold that it doesn't stay. You actually get like quite dry just working the fire right there. And then you're huddling over. Ravens. Yo. You brought some whiskey with you, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't want that to go bad on you.
you know, people come down here, feel stronger. And they feel it provides a motivation and uh, provides a good setting for cleansing. You make it what you can. It's up to you as an individual to do what you have to do. It's your life, it's your world.